Hi, I'm back. It's Sophia, one of the registered migration agents here at Freedom Migration. So it seems as though my last blog post caused quite a stir. Thank you for all of your emails and questions that came flooding in. What I'm going to do now is to try and get back to you with some of the main questions and concerns that were a common thread throughout them. Hope it helps. The first question that springs to mind is whether the processing times for offshore partner visas, so that's the subclass 309 visas, have also changed. To answer your question, the Department of Immigration has only released changes to the processing times for onshore, that subclass 820 visa applications. The offshore partner visas are really decided based on the overseas embassy to which your visa application has been sent to. For example, the Australian embassy in Manila or Bangkok or Dubai, for example. So if you want to check the specific date time processing times for your offshore partner visa it's best to contact the Australian Embassy processing your application. Another common question was what determines a low risk or a high risk onshore partner visa application in terms of processing times. So one of the factors that can determine low risk applications is if the person applying for the visa has a passport from an ETA eligible country. An ETA eligible country means that your partner or the person applying for the visa has citizenship from who has an electronic travel authority. To determine whether your passport has an electronic travel authority, it's best to contact the Department of Immigration's website to see. Now, in terms of high-risk applications, one of the factors that could present is if you're, if between you and your partner there's a significant age gap. Another, another reason is if your application is not very well prepared. Another reason could be even if you have a history of visa refusals or non-compliance. But really the best way to figure it out, because it could be a whole bunch of things that could determine whether your application is high risk, is to come in and see a registered migration agent and we can go over it all for you.